Now, in reference to diabetics, there are various types of simple sugars. The sugar at home is really sucrose, glucose, and fructose. So it's good as a diabetic to know all those three, you know? The glucose, which is the only form of sugar where the cells can use for energy and for a building of structures, and protein and so forth. But then you have fructose that is very common and ubiquitous in plants and fruits and vegetables. Then you have galactose in milk. You know what's the main difference? And every diabetic should know this. Glucose is absorbed right into the bloodstream and sticking straight to the cells. Fructose has to go to the liver to be broken down before you can get glucose. So the process is delayed. And galactose also has to be broken down to other particles before it can get to sugar. So that is why plant products are better for you. If you eat the plant product, you wouldn't have that sugar load. The pancreas cannot handle that load. That is why when you eat 10 cookies, it's bad. The big load of sugar and insulin has to be released from the pancreas to combat that. That's how people develop diabetes. You should give your pancreas a rest. So, these artificial sugars and stuff that they use, um, I say, if you can stay without it, because there are a lot of preservatives and all of those things placed in there that may not necessarily be healthy for you. If you're diabetic or pre-diabetic, eat a lot of fructose or plant product, you're surprised to see the amount of sweetness you can find in an apple, but it's good sugar for you. I like fructose. So try to stay away from these preservatives and artificial sugars and stay close to the plant.